All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with a Southern Grind Penguin here with me for a quick review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content right over here. So let's see what's in the box. Uh, uh, you've got this box with some uh, writing, of course. <laughs> and then uh, you have a couple uh, pieces of paper, uh, one with the quality check inspection uh, um, and the other one with the QR code. Uh, and the uh, warranty uh, details and then a little bit of foam and then you are um, encountering your uh, penguin which is a very interesting titanium frame lock. This guy is designed by Zach, uh, Zach Brown um, and it's a very very interesting one. Uh, overall length of this guy is uh, 8.1, uh, 8.2 inches. 3.5 inch long cutting edge with an overall handle uh, length of 4.6 inches. So it's not that big. I mean, it's tall. It's a tall knife. It's wide, but it's really, really slender, really, really thin and slim in the pocket. That's why I like this guy so much. Um, it has um, a very interesting design, nice lines. You have got these penguin um, feet, uh, like uh, markings on the uh, show side and as well on the uh, lock side right over there. Titanium uh, pocket clip, tip up carry only. You have um, a nicely rounded uh, flipper tab, which is sticking out a little bit, uh, as you can see. And then you have a nice stone wash Warncliffe blade, which is made in S90 V steel. So premium steel right there. Um, and uh, you don't have any lock face uh, uh, stainless steel insert. Uh, you have a very simple construction, couple screws for the handle and the keyed in pivot uh, uh, with the, I think this is like a T8 uh, uh, Torx bit. And overall, I mean, it's simple knife. There's no internal skeletonization, but uh, the, uh, the the feel in the hand is really good. There's a light jimping. It's not that aggressive here. It's functional and it's oriented in this way. So your thumb, it's not gonna slip that easily into that direction. Nice cut out in the blade with some nice chamfering going on. Uh, this guy's running on bearings. It has a very cool sounds as well. Look at that. Opening sound. It's just nice. The closing sound, it's okay, but the opening sound, it's like a whipping sound, really, really cool indeed. Also, the look is, is interesting. Uh, it has this um, uh, tall look, but uh, slim profile, which uh, is really attractive to me. But hey, if you wanna know more, please check out my full length review. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.